Hey guys, welcome back. I am lucky enough to have some beer mail in my hand here. And this bottle was kindly sent to me by Roy Goddard. It's a bottle of his Foreign Extra Stout. So thank you very much for this, Roy. I've been looking forward to trying this uh, since it arrived. Uh, but it is bottle conditioned, so Roy suggests that I let it settle. So it's been in the fridge for a few days. Um, so yeah, thank you very much for this. Um, I've never made a foreign extra stout myself, uh, so really, really keen to give it a whirl. I'm familiar with, like, Guinness does a foreign extra stout, which is really nice. Um, so yeah, well, we're keen to see what your one tastes like, Roy, and uh, pour it up. Roy has kindly sent me the recipe uh, and all the details of the beer. So what I might do is we'll pour it up first and then I'll quickly go through the recipe. He said it's fairly lightly carved, so we should be able to do a fairly aggressive pour. I've got my Guinness uh, Stout glass here. Look at that, that has poured up fantastically well. Just left a tiny bit there with the, with the yeast in the bottom. Before we go through the, uh, right, I better just tap that out, get rid of some of those bubbles. Um, before we get into the recipe and Roy's notes, that is absolutely fantastic looking Roy. Beautiful cap there, nice sort of, I was going to say tan but it's deeper than that, it's like a mocha colour, nice creamy head. Jet black, absolutely no light coming through. Okay, so yes, the recipe. Uh, so this was brewed back at the end of April this year. So what are we looking at? Five, about five months old. Um, OG is 107.2. Not sure what the final gravity was, but it's come out at 7.2%. Uh, 49 IBUs. Uh, 98, 98 EBC. See there, it's jet black. Okay, so the malt bill itself, so 72% ale malt, um, 7% flaked barley, 7% medium crystal, 4% dark crystal, 4% light chocolate malt, 4% roast barley, and then 2% of beds black malt. It's been hot with brambling cross and fuggles at 60 minutes, and then some more brambling, brambling cross at 10 minutes. Uh, mashed at 67 degrees for 60 minutes, mashed out 10 minutes, chilled to 18, fermented at 18 degrees for four days, and then the temp's been raised up for three days. And then cold crash, primed and bottle condition. Uh, so the only thing I'm not sure about is the yeast, so I'm, I'll get that info from Roy and I'll um, either put it on the screen or check out the... Um, video description for the yeast. Um, yeah, fantastic. So it's holding that nice cap on the top. Looks fantastic in the glass. So cheers guys, cheers. Uh, thanks again, Roy. I really appreciate you taking the time to send this to me. We'll get a, we'll get a nose on it. it smells fantastic. As you'd expect, there's, um, the malts dominate the aroma, getting some really nice roast. Also some really nice um, chocolate as well, like a dark chocolate aroma. And some nice coffee mo notes as well. It smells really good. I'm not too up on my Brambling Cross as far as what um, the characters of that are, but almost getting like a like a very very dark berry aroma coming off the top as well. So it smells absolutely fantastic. Um, I am very very keen to go in for a taste. So let's go, guys. That is very, very good. So it's 7.2%. 
but um, it's you're not really picking up. Um, you can taste the alcohol in the in the flavour, but it's um, it's not like super boozy or anything. Um, I'm just going for another taste and. have a wee bit, bit of a thing so yeah the um everything i was picking up and the aroma is coming through in the flavor the the dark chocolate the coffee the real nice roast um the dark berry but the thing that i am getting in the flavor is it's really really smooth it's it's actually like silky smooth in the flavor It's got a really, really nice creamy texture to it as well. Yeah, so really smooth. So everything, because it's been in the bottle for what, five months, it's everything's mellowed out. Um, yeah, there's no sort of, um, there's no harshness from any of the ingredients that Roy's used. Um, That creaminess is um, it's really um, outstanding. It's, if I didn't know any better, I would have thought you'd used um, some, maybe some, oh, you have used flaked barley. I did go, yeah, I was gonna say, it's got something in there that's giving, giving it a really nice um, creaminess to it. So yeah, I'll put that down to the flaked barley. Something I haven't actually used myself. We, strangely enough oh, that is fantastic Roy um, zero off off flavors um, or any faults or anything um, I, th I think the fact that the 7.2 percent is um, you know is how the beer in good stead you know five months if it was a lower abv beer i think it would um have gone past its prime but i think being that higher abv the um that time has actually um done the beer a lot of good the body's really good as well it's got a um good at least a medium if not more body to it uh, carbonation is good so yeah Roy did say the carbonation is quite light so it'd be fairly aggressive with the pour but I think that fits in perfectly with you know this style of beer I couldn't think of anything worse than having a beer like this that was over carbonated and you know gassy or effervescent or anything it would completely detract from the beer so I think you've got the um, everything right spot on the carbonation um, the bitterness, so it is, you know, it's 50 IBUs, but it's um, a really nice level of bitterness to fit in with the alcohol um, ABV and the, um, the amount of roasted malts you've got in there. I'm trying to hold myself back a little bit and not drink it too quick because I do want it to warm up a little bit more. And just sort of uh, savor it for a bit longer um, yeah that is that's top-notch if I bought that in the shop I'd be very very happy indeed if I brewed that up I'd be over the moon um, I think Roy's pretty happy with how it's turned out himself so yeah thank you for sending this Roy it's um, you know it's a real treat to get good quality um, homebrew beers like this to try as good as anything uh, you, you could buy in the shop. I can't imagine buying anything uh, better than this. Um, yeah, sort of starting to waffle a bit, but yeah, it's really, it really good. Getting some more of that nice chocolate. And the um, coffee as well. Um, so yeah, that's about it. I am going to resist the urge to drink the rest of this for now. We'll go back into the house, let it warm up, and I'll um, I'll sit down and savour the rest of that. So thank you very much again, Roy. Um, top, top beer, 10 out of 10. Absolutely nothing wrong with it. Nothing I can think that you would want to change at all. So yeah, perfect. 
um, very patient man hanging on to them for five months so hopefully you've still got a few more so thanks for watching guys um, like I say I'll get that info on the yeast from Roy and we'll put it in the uh, video description below apart from that continue to drink good quality beer at home and we will catch you in the next video over and out cheers